My Umrah uh, experience seeing the Almighty's house doing my uh, Pere is I can't put it into words it's too much. This is my first time I'm doing It's nothing like what you see on TV. Watch it on the TV, that's nothing, man. You need to come here and see it. Like, I always watched it on TV and I was, it was a dream come true to actually see yeah. it real life. By looking at it, it, sort of, it, it puts something inside you. And when you see it for the first time, the Kaaba, mashallah, it just brings tears to your eyes, man. When I first saw the Kaaba, um, I was in tears. I felt that, um, that I've, come more, I've come more to the deed. Well, since I got here, we've done our Umrah, what, two days ago, alhamdulillah. And then it's just been enjoying Mecca, and I had to go to Jeddah and have a couple of meetings out there. Morning, last night, everyone done their Umrah, everything, look, all okay. shaving heads and everything. MashaAllah, this is our project manager, he's done a fantastic job looking after the crowd here. We've got 90 people 
including some uh, brothers, sisters from all over the country, back in England. So we're resting up today, inshallah. Tomorrow we go over to Makkah Ziyara, inshallah. Join us then, see you later. And that's it really, now we're gonna go get some food and inshallah do another Umrah tomorrow. It's a money exchange place. There's no queue, no order. First come, first serve, that's it. My hands are stuck in the window. أنا عبد الرب له قدرة يهود. We are not eating American food at home. It's a Muslim company. It's Muslim food for Muslim people. Decent Muslim food. Cover rank. Alhamdulillah. It's great. 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 Alhamdulill Wrong coach, schmoozes. You look like a right muppet walking into someone else's bus. Is that our coach? And you said yes. I but kind of assumed. Is that is that coach here? I said yes. <laughs> brother, brother, please. And then I said, is this our coach? No, brother. Said, what do you say, brother? You ask me. Yes, please. Brother, please. is our coach is here? I said, is I said yes, brother. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I was. I wouldn't just run. I walked in and the guy's like, la. <laughs> I was like, okay then. Coach one behind me, coach two on my right. Inshallah, it's day three of uh, Makkah Twin Peaks, and today we're all about to jump onto two coaches and go on a tour of Makkah, inshallah, where we're going to get to see the plains of Arafat, which is where we're all supposed to be resurrected, inshallah, on the Day of Judgment, so it's quite an exciting time, so let's go. It's a bit of a rush, as always. We're off to Makkah Ziyarah. They're going to check out uh, all the Hajj sites, Arafah, Muzdalifah, uh, Mina, and etc. Uh, they're going to go double a nur, double a thawd, not for the climb, well, just to check it out, inshallah. Hi, Yasmillah Rahman Rahim. Brothers and sisters, uh, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be heading towards Arafah. Once we get to Arafah, we're going to disembark and gather uh, in a place where, inshallah ta'ala, I will show you from that place, the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu he gave his final khutbah, the final sermon, which is also known as Hajjatul Wida. We are in Mina now. On our left, you can see the tents of Mina. The Hujjaj, the pilgrims on the 9th, on the 11th and on the 12th of the Hijjah, they all come here and they spend three nights here. The Mina is, means the flowing of something. It's been the, here it's been the flowing of the blood. Because on the 10th, uh, it's called al yawm al hajj al-Akbar. On the 10th, the Hujjaj, they basically uh, spend the night in Muzdalifa, yes? And then they come here, okay? So on the 10th, later on the 10th and 11th and uh, also 12th, these are the three days that you have that you have to sacrifice an animal. So because the sacrificing the animal takes place here, millions of people are sacrificing the animals here in Mina, and the blood are flowing. This is why Mina is called Mina. In Muzdalifa, the idea is after you finish your Arafah, after, you after you've stopped in Arafah, and the sun is set, you have to head towards Muzdalifa. So people come here. It's called Muzdalifa because the word Zalifa in Arabic means to settle down in the night. Remember, Allah Azzawajal asked Adam and Eve uh, to uh, descend from the heaven. Adam was looking for Hawa. This is the place where Adam got to recognize Hawa. The scholars of Sirah, they tell us that Arafah is called Arafah is because Ibrahim uh, was here and uh, Jibreel السلام, was teaching him how to perform Hajj, the monastic of Hajj. Because Jibreel was the teacher and uh, you know the teacher they have the habit of saying do you understand do you understand have you understood this so jibril is to teach him and is to say hal arafta hal arafta hal arafta and this is why it's called arafa because jibril say did you understand this did you get this did you recognize this and ibrahim said naam yes i did when the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam done his uh, hajj al wida the only hajj he done he came the prophet of allah you have to imagine you have to understand that he traveled from medina to munawwara obviously he went to mina after mina when the prophet of allah came to uh, muzdalifa okay the prophet of allah sallam, he stopped here this is the exact location where the prophet of allah stopped here this is why the khulafa uh, may allah have mercy on umar bin abdul aziz rahmatullah uh, such an insight that he had he realized that this place has to be preserved so he built a masjid the scholars and the biographers have mentioned that approximately 70,000 prophets pray in this area. Okay, uh, we are now, inshallah, ta'ala, going to the location where the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa delivered his final khutbah. He stood near the rock. Some people, they climbed the mountain. Approximately 120,000 companions. 
120,000 companions were here, and the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam delivered his final sermon from this area. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. All praise is due to Allah. So we praise Him and seek His pardon, and we turn to Him. We seek refuge with Allah from the evils of ourselves and from the evil consequences of our deeds. Whom Allah guides aright, there is none to lead him astray. And there is none to guide him aright, whom Allah leads astray. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one having no partner with him. His is the sovereignty, and to him is due all praise. He grants life and causes death and is powerful over everything. There is no God but Allah, the one. He fulfilled his promise and granted victory to his bondsmen, and he alone rooted the confederates of the enemies of Islam. O oh people, listen to my words, for I do not know whether we shall ever meet again and perform Hajj after this year. O oh people, Allah says, O oh, people who created you from one male and one female and made you into tribes and nations so as to be known to one another. Verily, in the sight of Allah, the most honored amongst you is the one who is most muttaqi, most God-fearing. There is no superiority for an Arab over a non-Arab, for a non-Arab over an Arab, nor for the white over the black, nor for the black over the white, except in God consciousness. All mankind is the progeny of Adam, and Adam was fashioned out of clay. Behold, every claim of privilege, whether that of blood or property, is under my heels, except that of the custody of the Kaaba, and supplying water to the pilgrimage. O people of Quraysh, don't appear on the day of judgment with the burden of this world around your necks, whereas other people may appear before the Lord with the reward of the hereafter. In that case, I shall avail you not against Allah. Behold, all practice of the days of ignorance are now under my feet. The blood revenges of the days of ignorance are remitted. The first claim on blood I abolish is that of Ibn Rabi'ah ibn Harith, who was nursed in the tribe of Sa'd and whom the Hudayl killed. All interest, riba, and usuries, Jews, occurring from the times of ignorance, stand wiped out. And the first amount of interest that I remit is that which Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib had to receive. Verily, it is remitted entirely. O oh people, verily your blood, your property, and your honor are sacred and inviolable until you appear before your Lord. And as the sacred inviolability of these days of yours, this month of yours, and the very town of yours, verily you will soon meet your Lord, and you will be answerable for your action. O oh people, verily you have got certain rights over your women, and your women have certain rights over you. It is your right upon them to honor their conjugal rights, and not to commit acts of improperty, improperty, which if they do, you are authorized by Allah to separate them from your beds and chastise them, but not severely. And if they refrain, then clothe and feed them properly. Behold, it is not permissible for a woman to give anything from the wealth of her husband to anyone but with his consent. Treat the women kindly, since they are your helpers and not in a position to manage their affairs themselves. Fear Allah concerning women. Fear Allah concerning women. Fear Allah concerning women. For verily you have taken them on the security of Allah and have made the person lawful unto you by the words of Allah. O people, Allah the mighty and exalted has ordained to everyone his due share of inheritance. Hence there is no need of special testament for an heir. The child belongs to the marriage bed and the violator of wedlock shall be stoned and reckoning of the deeds rest with Allah. He who attributes his ancestry to other than his father or claims his clientship to other than his master, the curse of Allah is upon him. All debts must be repaid. All borrowed property must be returned. The gift should be returned. And the gift should be taken in respect. 
and surety he must be made good to the laws to the assured. Beware, no one committing a crime is responsible for it but himself. Neither the child is responsible for the crime of his father, nor the father is responsible for the crime of his child. Nothing of his brother is lawful for a Muslim except what himself gives willingly. So do not wrong yourselves. O oh people, every Muslim is the brother of every other Muslim, and all the Muslims from one brotherhood. And your slaves see that you feed them with such food as you eat yourselves, and clothe them with the clothes that you yourself wear. Take heed. Don't go astray after me. Strike one another's necks. He who amongst you has any trust with him, he must return to his owner. Oh, people, listen and obey. Listen and obey. Though an Abyssinia slave is appointed your Amir, provide he, provided he execute the book of Allah among you. Oh, people, no prophet would be raised after me, and no new Ummah would become after you. Verily, I have left amongst you that which will never lead you astray. The book of Allah, which if you hold fast, you shall never be misguided. And beware of transgressing the limits set in the matters of your religion. For it is transgressions of the proper bounds of religion that brought destruction to many people before you. Verily, the shaitan is disappointed at ever being worshipped in this land of yours. But he will be pleased by obedience in anything short of worship, that is, in matters you may dispose to think insignificant. So beware of him in the matters of your religion. Behold, worship your Lord, offer your five times prayer, observe the fast in the month of Ramadan, pay zakah on your property, and reform the pilgrimage to the house of Allah, obey your rulers, and will be admitted to paradise of your Lord. Let him that is present convey it unto him who is absent, for many people to whom the message is conveyed may be more mindful of it than the audience. And if you were to ask me, what would you say? The Prophet of Allah then he addressed his 120,000 companions. The reply came from 120,000 companions. We bear witness that you have conveyed, O Prophet of Allah, the trust and discharge your ministry of prophethood and look to our welfare. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi thereupon he lifted his forefinger towards the sky and then he, towards, then he pointed towards the people. He said, Allahum mashhad, Allahum mashhad, Allahum mashhad, translation, O my Lord, bear thou witness unto it. O my Lord, bear thou witness unto it. O Lord, bear thou witness unto it. Then the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa he got down from his camel and then he made dua for the entire ummah. And the khutbah comes to an end. When I heard the last khutbah of, uh, of the Prophet, mashallah, is just speechless really, lost for words really. It was, uh, mashallah, it was a very understandable and knowledgeable uh, khutbah. One of the bits that stuck out for me was the most thing about equality. And I think that racism, you know, still exists in this world and Islam was designed to almost eradicate it. 120,000 uh, companions here that were listening to him. So when the Prophet, peace be upon him, was giving his sermon, his voice reached at the end. So I'm trying to figure out how that actually happened. Was it the power of his voice or was it like, you know, Ch Chinese whisper? Not only are we climbing, climbing this mountain, uh, following the footsteps of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but we're also doing it with our best friends, just like the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him did with his best friend Abu Bakr radiallahu. You know what, I really do want to get to the top. Now that I've, I've been shown a picture of where the actual cave is, I'd really like to go up there and, and, and look in the cave. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and Abu Bakr, his best friend, climbed the mountain and hid in the cave, away from the enemies. Everybody knows the story about the spider and the spinning, spinning of the web. What do you think of the scaffolding? I could do better than that. <laughs> That's pure Pakistani Bangladeshi style scaffolding. That. That's good. I wouldn't would climb up on that. What? <laughs> it's not even straight. It's not, it's not plumb. That's, that's scaffolding with a bit of rusty. Yeah. Rusty and then they go.
climbing this side. Full rag See, normally over. when people climb Jebel Nur, they go around the other side where they've built a staircase. Whereas these, brothers, you've got people here who are actually climbing the mountain from the mountain side. That is incredible. Wow. So we're not climbing this side then? That's what I want to do. This side or the other side? Because the stairs are harder, I find, than to actually climb. Are you mad? You want to climb this side? Try it, that's what we're here for. And then after this climb, jump the thorn. So we'll climb this side. It'd be better. I thought this was the, the tourist mountain, but it, it looks like a big mission, bruv. I think, I don't know if I can climb that. Inshallah, I'll climb it somehow. I don't know how. Yeah, help from my bit. <laughs> Climbing the mountain, same mountain that also Allah and Islam climbed. And uh, just going through the struggle and while struggling, thinking about how he struggled also. Honestly speaking, last year's documentary. For me, it was something that I wanted to go through the struggle uh, so I can sort of learn myself and understand that, you know what, you know. What I'm doing, what I'm going to be doing, you know, when I go back home, you know, I'll just remember that. So I put my young son with me, 11 years old. Inshallah, we're all geared up, ready to do the uh, crime tomorrow, Inshallah. I want to follow the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And um, I'm, I, I came to Mecca Twin Peaks to change my life around that, like, to be a better Muslim, Inshallah. Three times he watched a documentary, and every time he kept watching it, he was getting more inspired and more excited and more motivated. Are you doing the Mecca Twin Peaks climb as well? But I'm the base manager, bruh. There's always got to be a brace manager, isn't it? It's the heat that's going to kick in, but hey, you know, we're ready for this. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm quite that's worried. That's not very confident, bruh. <laughs> I'm oh, excited, isn't it? Hi, so, uh, I'm here um, on behalf of Mecca Twin Peaks uh, project. Uh, we're looking after the climbers this morning. We're going to take them over to Noor. Uh, I'm going to be in the base, uh, ensuring that everyone gets up there safely. Basically, from yesterday, we went to Umrah. So we never actually got any sleep at all. And now we are absolutely shattered. We have no idea how we're gonna do this. Last time we promised ourselves we were gonna get a full night's sleep and a big breakfast, and we weren't gonna make the same mistakes. This year we have no sleep, no drinks. We're about to climb two mountains, but we're certainly gonna try, put it that way. Although I'm not climbing, but I've done this before. Been there and done that, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And one thing as we climb the mountain, what we learn is that we should be always ready to go up, put ourselves forward, climb. It's, it should be symbolic as well that we are ready to sacrifice and climb the difficult mountains. وَمَن لَا يُحِبُّ سُعُودَ الْجِبَالِ فَإِنَّهُ يَعِشْ أَبَدَ الدَّهْرِ بَيْنَ الْحُفَارِ The poet says, and the one who doesn't like to make sacrifice to climb up, that all his life he will spend living in the pit. Thank you very much. Put your bags on your back! So we're, we're starting the climb now, inshallah. 
on our way up to the first mountain. This is the thing, we haven't actually started the climb. So before you get to the climb, what they want to do is they want to test you. They want to see if you can even get halfway. So the very first thing you have to do is get up this ramp. And there's only the one question that comes in your head. Why well, am I doing me, this? Again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing this? Again. Again? It's steep. This is nothing. This is to get to the bottom of the mountain. Because you've been shaving your legs? I'm going to make it. Oh, bro. It's disgusting. <laughs> I swear I'm not tired. Does it look like I'm panting? I think they need a sky ride here, man. I'm tired at the moment. Walking up already this very steep hill, as you can see behind me. And we've got a long way to go yet. We are, alhamdulillah, we are uh, a few steps into Jabal Nur. Unfortunately, before you hit the mountain, they've got a huge ramp. And uh, the ramp kind of knackered us, really. Look how high we are already. But what's even more interesting is that the mountain this time is full of baboons. And I've been told if you got a small bag, I should just give it to him. Those are up there. Uh, uh, I oh my days. And real baboons. And a couple of funky baboons. So we're hoping that we're not going to get into a scuff with them. Because otherwise, we're going to have to go East London on these baboons. And you don't want to mess with East Londoners, especially when man's is tired. Oi! We've had a baboon jack our bag. Put your bags on your back. Yeah, you better Take run. Back for walking, Ooh, what what you? I didn't have a lot, but just little bits in it. Man, yeah, he would have smacked you straight in your yeah. legs, whatever. I would have gone for you. You did the best thing. Let me put the stuff out. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, I'm feeling good, but I'm scared of the baboons. So I threw my bag away, put all the contents from the bag in my pocket. Oh, I'm carrying half of the stuff. Alhamdulillah, all good. There's a lot more around. Look, they're right there. Oh, look, they're accosting us. Proper, proper ganged up. Get a phone out there, you. Why well, the monkeys are clever, you know. They've blocked off the pathway. There's about ten of them ganging up. We're doing it again. It's crazy, and they're proper threatening people. And that geezer who's proper filming was about to get slapped upside his head. I didn't thought that was going to be that tough. It's very tough. This is too much. Truthfully, I thought it was mental. Tiring. Right, enough, going strong. Life's hard, and so is this. I was expecting to be a bit more or less tiring, but my calves are gone. One of the baboons attacked me and took my bag. Lucky I took the camcorder out and the HD came out. And the baboons came and just snatched it out of my hand and ran off. Alhamdulillah, just glad I took the camera out and embark on my journey and see how it goes. I can do this, it's no sweat. Does it look like I'm panting? It's harder than I thought, bro. It really is. I was not excited to be this high. I can't even breathe. Oh, man. The the man is is in Mecca. Beautiful. Look at that view. I'm trying not to think about my legs. You know what? I don't have no water. Again. Oh. Have you got any water? I dumped my water. I didn't have the energy to carry it up anymore. But I had one glass of bottle of water, yeah? And it was either the water was going to make it to the top of the mountain or me. I chose me. I should have chosen the water, really. Yeah, brother, soldier, this is mine. You know what I'm Show saying? Wow. For this. I'm going to get there, inshallah. Drink your water. Sit down. Oh, come on, man. Does it look like I'm panning? Almost to the top now. <laughs> Feeling quite proud of myself, you know? I've done it a lot faster than last time. I've kept a rhythm and given everything else. Now stop filming me. I haven't got any energy to talk or I'll just collapse. <sighs> Almost to the top. Just cut the more steps and I'm nearly to the top. I can see the top. It's right in front of me. I'm absolutely shattered. Well, that's what I'll give me strength to prove to myself. Something I've accomplished. Peace out. Yeah, man, I'm dead. Just when you think it's finished, it just carries on again. Oh, please, man. Yes, I made it. Not even a drip of sweat. <laughs> Look at Evan doing the rocket. I made it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Last time I made it to the top of the mountain, I made a message for my children because I didn't think I was going to make it back down alive. Given the fact that we finished our umrah at five in the morning, had a, a dodgy burger and came up, so alhamdulillah we made it up and this is beautiful, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, I'm very proud of myself and proud of everyone else here. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, at the last of the group, two brothers have officially dropped up. They told me to grab them on the way down, inshallah. It was easy. It was, uh, it was hard, man. Um, it was harder than I expected. I was expecting That's it to be easy, but it was kind of hard. I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. Can you see how I feel when I get it out? I'm having second thoughts about the second mountain now. It was, it was knackering, man. Tiring. I'm still tired. I'm going to do the second one, but I don't think I can do it. It just shows how the young youth is so unfit. May Allah have rahmah on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for having this journey and uh, making it up to the top of the day. It's a very historical place, you know, just to think that our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was here. Alhamdulillah, it's just, just a fantastic feeling. Going down is a lot harder coming up. Uh, see what happens. Alhamdulillah. Let's go. The second will leave in five minutes. Yo. Ali's got it, yeah? We've got 20 lads here and you love the to carry a bag down. I'm carrying, I'm carrying. Chivalry really is dead, isn't it, in your community? Yeah. I don't see the Pakistani volunteering. All right, alhamdulillah, uh, we made it up. We're going to go back down and we're about to take on the baboons. So I'm going to try and keep up with the young blood there. And inshallah, if the baboons try it, yeah, you just watch. You watch me run like a girl. <laughs> when people do that kind of making, when they put the lights up, they Go, 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 go. He's stopping, isn't it? to do the mountain, but just going to do a quick VR of it. Um, I have to actually stay behind for those who are going to be left behind. So, inshallah, I'll make it to the top and don't get too much exposed to the sun. Sakin, where's the bag? bag? You need a bag. What bag? Uh, the baboons took uh, my other bag. Have you, got, uh, have you got a spare bag? I oh, said, so you need a bag. Go and get a bag. Why Try. Do I have a spare bag for what? To carry my stuff in uh, luckily, I emptied the contents before they snatched it. The time is approximately 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. So we've completed the first mount, Alhamdulillah, Jabal Noor. The first one was uh, not too bad. We're just about to start climbing it now. We've just started climbing. What's the name of this mountain? Mount Thor. Mount Thor. Jabal Thor. Mount Thor. Mount Thor. Um, inshallah, I go out for us. This is the mountain on which last time we ended up with that amazing experience 
We're about, uh, just about 20 meters into it now. We're about five minutes in. The heat is getting stronger and the climb's getting steeper. We've been told this one's about a two, three hour trot, so we're gonna take our time and then shall I go good. So I've been told this is a long uh, trek. Um, I'm at the base of the group with five of the paceful climbers. Nice and slowly, we're gonna pace ourselves. Alhamdulillah, we'll make it up there. I'm gonna see if I can make it up there. Make that. We're gonna try to make it to the top and really see what happens. But although we may plan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners. I've got a camel right next to me and I don't like camels. You can actually see the Zum Zum Tower from here, believe it or not. It's how big it is. The higher we're getting, the more view we're getting. All right. I knew I shouldn't have done this, but I thought Allah Halim, you know. My water, it's gone really warm. I don't even feel like drinking it. I'm just carrying it for the fun of it now. The heat's catching up now. This is right behind you. That's how we carry on. So, come on, Jim. Hello. Come on, Jim. Oh, that's a big step. Big step. Oh. Okay. It's time to pant now. Not too long, I guess. Let's hope so. We're not even halfway through. I'm getting a little tired now. I had two bottles of water frozen. Right now they're so hot I can't even drink it. Exhausted. My legs are shaking. My left calf is starting to hurt. I'm just drinking oh. one drop at a time. Oh my god. What did I commit to? <laughs> what, halfway? Yeah. Oh my what god, that? man. And there's the shop. And a woman beat me up. What the hell is going on? I'm blame Trey. The halfway, just now. Oh. <laughs> halfway. Thank you, you know, we're just halfway as well, Yanis. Oh, God, man. Alhamdulillah. I'm okay. I'm just going to need a bit of rest and shut up. I'm going to carry on. My pain is inside. I have a headache. I've already had one pain killer. I have to have another one, I think. <laughs> You're popping pills now. <laughs> popping pills, yeah. Popping pills. Legal ones, though. <laughs> That's why I'm worn out. <laughs> no, if you have to rest, rest. I'm just, these guys were here before. I've been here about five minutes. Let's go, let's go. There's a chance we can make it. In my view, everyone's completed their challenge if they made it this far. From this point on, it's equally difficult all the way up to the top. Equally difficult. Equally difficult all the way up to the top. Okay, we're in the halfway point of Mount Thor at the moment. Um, apart from the fact that majority of the participants actually dropped out before we started climbing, we have about four or five people who may remain behind. Do I look like I'm staying behind, blood? He's quitting. Do He's I look quitting. like I'm quitting, blood? Bro, I'm only quitting if Sister Karima quits. So I'm really quit. hoping she quits. I'm competing with a woman. Wait, 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 check this, check this. I'm competing with a woman and I'm losing. <laughs> We're still at the halfway point. Had like a 25 minute break. Now we're gonna set off for the next half of the climb. I'm feeling, I'm recharged. Got energy drink in me, Alhamdulillah. Let's go. Alhamdulillah. We're quite far up now. As you can probably see from behind. Don't know how long we've, more we've got to climb. The steps are getting steeper and steeper. All the there's loose rocks everywhere. So, find a little bit of shade. Just taking a breather. It's extremely hot now. Ah. Start to see more rocks. 
just looks like a yellow brick road and just, just going on and on and on. No sign of Trey. Don't know where he is. I hope he's alright. It's like I said, just when you think you're near the end, carries on, isn't it? Which way are we supposed to go? Yeah, we made it. Hello, where are you going? We've made it. This is the top. Alhamdulillah, I made it. When you get quite close to the top, you think you're nearly there. And you look around, there's more rocks, there's more stairs. And the stairs just. Yeah, as soon as you go around the corner, there's another couple of more steps. Look around the next corner, there's more steps. Never ending story. Cut. Trey! This ain't the pig, you ain't finished. Pig's up there, bro. I could not care less. Um, Alhamdulillah, the group that started off from the foot of the mountain, We've only had two dropouts, uh, halfway point. Um, brother Trey was going to quit at one point, but um, he's a mujahid himself and made it to the top with the motivation of his family at the top of the mountain. I was so delirious, bro. Is it still like, oh, yeah. I'm coming, nah, bro. The last. <laughs> what was you saying about sisters not making it up? Yeah, I, I thought it would be best way to motivate sisters to give them what we call negative motivation, where you say you can't make it, you can't make it, and then when they make it to the top, you are say... Are you saying women are simple-minded and you can easily use reverse psychology yeah. to confuse them? <laughs> that's it, reverse oh, psychology. No, I agree, I'm just checking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody actually knows where the actual cave is. There's a few around here, which could be... Any of them. Apparently, this ain't the peak. There's more to go. You don't stop, so no rest. You have to make it to the peak first and then rest up a bit. Shut up. I can't catch my breath. I ain't even got the strength to talk now. Oh, 
it's going to be horrid, trust me. You know, all we do is we do everything like on our backside. It's the safest way, that's right. I'm done, I made it, bro. My legs are feeling like jelly at the moment. Can't, um, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. <laughs> so I'm just taking it at my own pace, inshallah, and um, hopefully I'll get to the bottom soon. Yeah, alhamdulillah, we've, we've completed double thought. We're now on our way back down, which is actually a lot harder than going up, especially for those of us with um, gammy legs. And uh, we just pray, inshallah, we make it down safely, really, but I'm quite excited now. I'm really happy I made it to the top. And I just hope, inshallah, we can make it down without any incident. طلع البدر علينا من سنيات الوداع وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله داع ما دعا لله داع All the white moon rose over us From the valley of Wada And we owe it to show gratefulness Where the call is to Allah where the call is to Allah Oh, you who were raised amongst us Coming with the word to be obeyed You have brought to this city nobleness Welcome, best caller to God's way Welcome, best caller to God's way نور أمن وسلام نور حق ويقين ساقه الله إلينا رحمة للعالمين رحمة للعالمين From this valley, calling to Allah. Anta shamsun, anta badrun, anta nurun, fawqa nur, anta misbahu zamani. Ya Habibi, Ya Rasul Ya Habibi, Ya Rasul Tala'an, Tatru, Adhan